Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. In this video, we'll be discussing about MTech admissions in IIT Roorkee. So, here the website goes like this: iitr.ac.in/academics/admission into MTech program. So you have to click on that URL. So there you can find MTech MRC MURP admission 2024 regular. So here you have three links here one is information brochure second one is apply online and third one is login now let us see the information brochure here dear students so you can see information brochure for 2024 2025 admission pg programs so this is the admission brochure so you have to carefully go through this admission brochure then only you need to go for applying in iit roorkee so here you can see At this point, introduction to postgraduate academic programs leading to MTech, MRC, MURP, two years duration. The postgraduate programs in engineering and architecture include 48 full time specialized programs leading to MTech, MRC, MURP degrees. Details of different academic programs leading to these degrees are available in different departments along with the codes, gate disciplines, the minimum educational qualifications for admission are given in table 1. I will show you that table 1, dear students. Regulations in force determine the general academic requirements for the above programs. The minimum duration of all academic programs would be four semesters for full time candidates and six semesters for part time candidates. So, here you can see. Then there are dual degree programs also. The MTech, MRC, MURP candidates pursuing PG degree in any department center of IITR are permitted to switch over to PhD program after first year subject to satisfying eligibility criteria. So here admission categories, there are three different categories dear students, one is gate qualified students, second one is IIT graduates, then the third one is golden girl scheme for female applicants. So this is also introduced here dear students, you can go through that. Then eligibility requirements for admission to MTech, MRC, MURP degrees here, gate qualified students, candidates of general general EWS and OBS category must have secured at least 60% of marks or CGPA of 6 on a 10 point scale at the qualifying degree level. But for SC, ST, PD category candidates, this percentage is 55% or 5.5 CGPA on a 10 point scale. So in case of CGPA awarded on different point scale, table 2 as approved by the Senate of the Institute will be considered for deciding eligibility. So try to go through that table 2 dear students if CGPA scale is not 10 point scale. So you need to go through that scale and accordingly you have to apply for this. Then IIT graduates direct admission without gate will be offered to IIT graduates with a minimum CGPA of 8 on a 10 point scale. Intake will be super numerary. So this is what he has given here. Girl and goal scheme for female applicants so eligibility first rank holder gold medalist female candidates from an iit or institute or university within the top 50 ranks overall category in the nirf in the most recent year so this is what is the scheme telling about so relaxation is given the requirement of qualifying an all india level examination shall be exempted however all other meqs will be applicable as per the institute policy so intake shall be supernumerary. So this is also subjected to some conditions dear students, you can go through that. So finally a students who will be completing all the requirements of their qualification examination including back papers, supplementaries before the date of registration may also apply. So this is one thing given dear students. A candidate appearing in any part of qualifying examination including supplementary examination after the date of registration shall not be considered to have qualified for admission in 2024-2025 dear students. Now this is the important thing table 1 which is showing the specializations the gate papers which are required for that specialization everything here. So you can go through this carefully dear students. Architecture and planning is there two categories are there MRC MURP. So here eligible gate disciplines architecture and planning paper and civil engineering paper is there. Then hydro and renewable energy. So here you have two programs, MTech Renewable and Hydro Energy, MTech Environmental Management of Rivers and Lakes. So here you can see so many 
gate papers disciplines are allowed for these programs. You can see here civil engineering, agriculture, chemical, electrical engineering, electronics and communication, mechanical engineering, production and industrial engineering, XE engineering sciences and instrumentation. So similarly for MTech environmental management of rivers and lakes you can see civil engineering, agriculture, chemical, electrical, mechanical, production and industrial, XE, engineering sciences, architecture and planning, biotechnology, physics, mathematics, life sciences, everybody environmental studies is also allowed. Then chemical engineering, MTech in chemical engineering, the code is 14. Here eligible gate discipline is only chemical. Then civil engineering, you can see so many specializations are there. MTech environmental engineering is there. MTech geospatial engineering is there. MTech Geotechnical Engineering is there, MTech Hydraulic Engineering, MTech Structural Engineering, MTech Transportation Engineering. So here you can see what are the gate papers that are there. So kindly go through all these things dear students. Then Earthquake Engineering related also things are there. So you can see MTech Soil Dynamics, MTech Structural Dynamics, MTech Seismic, Seismic Vulnerability and Risk Assessment. Like this for Electrical Engineering also there are certain specializations like electric drives and power electronics, instrumentation and signal processing, power systems, systems and control, electric vehicle technology. So this course is also there, electric vehicle technology. You can go through that. What are the eligible gate papers for various specializations? You can go through that clearly. Eligible gate disciplines is given. Electronics and communication engineering, you can see. MTech Communication Systems, MTech RF and Microwave Engineering, MTech Microelectronics and VLSI, MTech Terahertz Communication and Sensing, MTech Semiconductor Technology. So here you can see gate disciplines eligibility, electronics, electrical and instrumentation are there. And in some specializations, physics people also can apply. So the people who have written physics gate paper, they also can apply for those specialization. Then Computer Science and Engineering. So here you can see MTech Computer Science and Engineering is there. Only Computer Science gate paper whoever have appeared they can apply for that specialization. <coughs> then Hydrology is there. MTech Hydrology, Civil Agricultural, Geomatics Engineering, Data Science and Artificial Intelligence, XC Engineering Sciences, Environmental Sciences and Physics paper. Whoever have written these papers they can apply for this Hydrology department also. Then Mechanical and Industrial Engineering. So here you can see MTech Mechanical and Industrial Engineering, Gate Papers, Mechanical Engineering and Production and Industrial Engineering. Then students will be admitted in MTech Mechanical and Industrial Engineering. After first semester, students have option to choose the following specialization subjecting, subject to fulfilling the eligibility criteria decided by the department. See, first year for Mechanical and Industrial Engineering, so you will be studying mechanical and industrial engineering depending upon the eligibility criteria met according to the institute norms. In the second year you can take the following specializations like CAD CAM and robotics, machine design engineering, production and industrial systems engineering, thermal engineering, additive and joining technologies. So like this in the second year there is a chance for you to go for other specializations. Then metallurgical and materials engineering is also there. Then paper technology is also there that is at a different department, different branch, water resources development and management, then physics is there, nanotechnology is there, MTech in nanotechnology, MTech in disaster mitigation and management is there, then MTech transport systems management is there. So you can see so many specializations are there dear students. So you can go through all these specializations and what are the gate papers that are required and what is the eligibility criteria that also you need to go through dear students, minimum educational qualifications. So try to go through all this information brochure clearly there are so many specializations in Rurki and you can see what are the different codes that are there for gate disciplines and CGPA I told you you have to go through table 2 in order to understand if the scale is a different scale other than 10 point scale. So here 10 point scale, 9 point scale, 8 point scale, 7 point, 6 point, 5 point and 4 point scales they have given minimum CGPA what is required and percentage of marks. So everything is clearly 
given here dear students try to go through that carefully so coming to the important dates here so you can see online application portal starts on march 18 2024 that is monday and application portal will be closed on april 20 2024 that is saturday 5 pm then online admission registration july 9th to 10th 2024 that is their document verification in person July 11, 2024, Thursday and commencement of classes is from July 16, 2024, dear students. Okay, so this is about the important dates. So kindly go through all the important information carefully and accordingly you can apply here. So coming to how to apply here. So before applying, candidates are advised to read the PG information brochure 2024 carefully. This is what I have said earlier. So try to read the information brochure carefully and understand what are the specializations to which you people can apply and accordingly you can apply here. Then, so you need to click on MTech MRC admissions 2024-2025 apply online. Then there will be register you need to click on the register then complete the application form and pay fee for online using option proceed for payment then download the application form take a printout of the entire file if required so you can keep it that keep that printout for your records dear students okay so students will receive one application id number after submitting the application online this id number should be used in all correspondence in future so try to remember that then documents that are needed to be uploaded applicant photo applicant signature 10th mark sheet or certificate 12th or diploma mark sheet or certificate ug all semester year mark sheets and ug degree provisional certificate in a single pdf file so try to remember that all the certificates should be in a single pdf file PG all semesters or year mark sheets or degree provisional certificate if applicable in single PDF. Okay. Gate scorecard if applicable. Then certificate of first rank or gold medal issued by the institute or university. This is only for the golden girl scheme for females dear students. So application fee non-refundable for general, general EWS, OBC category it is rupees 300 and for SCST and PWD cadres 150. For gate qualified foreign students, it is 1000 dear students. Okay. So try to see all these things. And coming to the scholarship and assistantship, the information is also given regarding this. Scholarship and assistantship as applicable shall be provided to the candidates as per the rule. They have mentioned that there are approved number of seats in different programs for which assistantships are given by the MOE to gate qualified students selected for admission within the sanctioned intake on the basis of valid normalized gate marks only. So this is also an important criteria that is given dear students. Kindly go through that carefully. Then coming to the selection and admission, here gate qualified candidates, valid normalized gate marks only. That is the thing IIT graduates, CGPA greater than or equal to 8. Girl and girl scheme for females through an interview that will be there. Then offer of admission for gate qualified candidates through COAP portal. So COAP 2024 portal you have to visit in order to see whether you have got the offer from this IIT Rurki or not. Okay, so try to go through the information brochure carefully and then go for clicking on apply online. So once you click on apply online, so here register new account will come. So you can enter your details dear students and click on create my account. Okay. So once your account is created, then there is an option for login for existing users. So you can log in and you can see whatever the details that are there. What is the further correspondence, everything. Okay. Thank you. All the very best dear students.